It's uh, Thirsty Thursday. It is. We got we got a beer here, and this is actually a local beer. Sort and, of local. And you know what? I'm thirsty. So it's good to have a beer. Comes hey, in handy. I got your back, Jack. So how local is this? Well, sort of local. Tom's River, New Jersey. 40 minutes? 40 minutes uh, local? Maybe is, an hour? Is it near the shore? Maybe an hour? Yeah. About an hour. Maybe an hour? An hour, hour and ten minutes. That's local enough. Mm-hmm. So this beer is the Kentucky Common Ale. And I'll be honest with you, I have no idea what that means. Let me pour while you read. Okay, I'll read the back. I took a picture of the back of the can. Oh, for your first. suggestion. Oh, I hope it's good. It's still good. I don't know how long it's... But this is from the Ale Monger. I don't know how long he's had it. Oh, I'm sure it's still good. Think? He's not an old beer guy. I don't know. We're going to find out. So, Kentucky Common Ale. It's often challenging to consider that states like California and Kentucky share much, if any, commonalities. However, both were forged and settled by the fabled pioneer spirit that continues to this day. Those rough and tumble days of yesteryear yearned for a mug of ale that was refreshing as well as uniquely American. Both pioneering arenas spawned their own versions of a common ale, using local ingredients that were representative of their surrounding environments. Here at Tom's River Brewing, we set out to bring the two styles together, utilizing a mash bill of Kentucky origins, American two-row barley, a generous amount of flaked corn, and copper malt, beautifully accentuated by a hop bill that's true to Cali style with Northern Brewer and Cascade, hop, and Cascade Hops. Let's raise a pint together for the pioneering spirit within us all with a Kentucky Common Ale. That sounds pretty, sounds pretty good. Irish-born, Jersey brewed. So I guess the, the folks that founded this uh, Tom's River Brewing are from Ireland? I suppose. Interesting. And, they're in, and now they're in Jersey. That's Fascinating. Nice. Fascinating. Sir, cheers. Cheers. Okay, so again, I don't know much about this beer, but it's kind of, it's kind of dark, kind of like a nice brown color. A cup I'd of tea. It's brown. It's a cup of tea. It smells good. Yeah. It smells good. So it's, I almost got like a little, like a little chocolate, yeah. a little hops, yeah. a little maltiness to it. The hops give it a little bit of crispness. Yeah. yeah that smells really good. Because honestly, I had no idea what to expect with this beer. Maybe a hint of vanilla. I'm going in. Yeah, it's got a nice fluffy head too. Mm -hmm. It's got some, it's got some head retention and some viscosity. It's an odd style. I don't know what to classify it as. It's nice. It's unusual. Back end's a little bitter. Yeah, almost like a little bit of like a like a coffee. Yeah. Little coffee on the yeah. back end. Like almost like a bad cup of coffee on the back end. Yeah. Kinda. It's not the good. It's not the good diner coffee. But that uh, it, it's up front, pretty nice. Yeah, but but you know. The problem is, I think we need to have a couple sips of this before we do any kind of a verdict because we had kind of a lemony drink before, yeah. and we didn't really cleanse the palate. So this is full disclosure, folks. This is the first time having this beer. I'll just have to keep drinking it. That's right. Let's go back again. Oh, we did not cheers. We did cheers. Cheers to Tom. Oh, we're cheers going. again. Right. <laughs> Slange, since there's an Irish background. I like it. It's okay. It's not bad. It's okay. I think I would like it better if the, the uh, chocolate was a little more robust mm. through the finish. You get well, it on the nose, you get it up front a little bit, but then you've changed the style. It's not an ale anymore, and I probably told them to make a stout or a porter. <laughs> wow, a stout's still an ale. Which is, but I, it's not what they're doing here. It's, right. it's, uh, I think they're trying to make something that's light and blended and hoppy. Yeah. And uh, it's not a bad beer. It's, I'm uh, not saying it's great, but it's pretty good. Yeah, I'd say this is probably, for, me, like, for me, I'd say it's a B-. Uh, it's like a long line, it's like a yeah. brown ale. Yeah. You know, almost like a hoppy brown yeah. ale. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, I go B, B, B. Yeah. I go B. I, I just go say B. for me, this is like an 83, 84. You yeah. probably get I'll go maybe a little 45, maybe a little more. I'll, I'll give them a little bit. They get, uh, they get extra points for being local. But it's nice. It's nice. Yeah, it's not bad. It's, uh, it's not. What did you say the ABV was on this? I, I don't know. I don't think it's that high. Is it four point something here? Four point seven. Four point seven. So it's not one of those, uh, you know, sneaky, boozy beers. No, not at all. It's a. I'd say it's a food it's nice. beer. This yeah, be, this oh, yeah be, with a meal, it's really good. You know, good with like lunch. This is like a oh, lunchtime good. beer. A lunchtime beer? A lunchtime beer. At least you know, it's not a breakfast beer for you. I was a little worried. No, no, that's, 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 a, that's a Kentucky Purpose Maybe style. you're heading out to get a couple sizzlies and throw no, a that's breakfast a, beer. That's a KBS, man. You do it with a couple of those Chick fil A sliders? Mm. Bad men. Very, very bad. I don't drink beer for breakfast. Bad men. This is the only time I drink. Not anymore. <laughs> no, not anymore. Not since they, you know. <laughs> Not since the incident with not, HR. Not since HR and that little stint in rehab. <laughs> just don't do that anymore. It's just bad for business, man. Bad for business. It wasn't be so bad if they would let me use vacation time, but they wouldn't. 
But thanks to the Alemonger, so we got this from. <laughs> yes, thanks our good friend the Alemonger. And uh, thanks for sharing. This was a, it was a nice change of pace. Yeah, it's not bad. So I, yeah. I don't know that I would have seen this on a shelf. No. To know to get it, and uh, he always seems to find yeah some interesting beer from somewhere. He so, is the Marco Polo of beer. He is the Alemonger. Yes, exactly. Yeah. So, cheers, folks. Cheers. <laughs>